Today is the 14th day, 14th day of November 2020. Kai Mills have been away from the video since I've been kidnapped by the people that swore to protect my liberty. I had to step away and do some soul searching. This is not the first time that I've been kidnapped by the Royal Bahamas Police Force in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. This is my third time and I am in Supreme Court with the first set of clowns that call themselves policemen that kidnapped me. I had to take a step back because it could have been worse. Just before the police kidnapped me on the highway, they came to my house at 10 o'clock at night and want to find out why I had so many lights on. I believe that they came to kill me that night because at the time it was locked up and they had access to the streets and only them one were allowed to be on the street. So for the first time in my life, I am in fear of my life by the people that sworn out to protect and to serve the citizen of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and to do it with integrity. All of that has been thrown out the window. But I want to thank the Minister Marvin Dames for his effort to try to assure Abaconians that the police got their back. I want to thank the outgoing Commissioner of Police, Anthony Ferguson, you tried so hard. And now we have Paul Roll, the present Commissioner of Police, that inherit a gang of crooks. Not all of them. Can't throw them all over the, under the bus. I want to thank the man in charge of North Bahamas, the man in charge of policing for the family islands would include Abaco and Grand Bahama, Ashton Green Slade. It is so sad that I have communication with these people and all these crooks are still here. I communicate with them and let them know that Inspector Gay, months ago, this is Inspector Gay, third tour here, you serve about uh, three or four weeks, then they send you, and Inspector Gay has found it so lucrative to incriminate and to rob and extort monies from the people of Abaco that he keeps begging to come back, and he's back in Abaco. While I was locked up, I was afraid that the police would kill me in the cell by poisoning my food. They tried to dismask me. Inspector Gay, you imagine COVID-19 going on and inspector in charge of um, CDU and Abaco would come in the jail and try to dismask you? That is Inspector Gay. Then the other day, my brother from Murphy Town that lives in Sandy Point, Bradley Strain, alias Shaker, they came to his house in Sandy Point. Took him out the house, said that he is harboring a fugitive that escaped from police custody. Tell him he don't know the people. They took him on the airport road at Sandy Point Airport at night, four police led by Inspector Gay and beat the bejesus out of him. When they finished beating him, they locked him up, didn't allow his wife to see him. Then they let him go 
and didn't charge him, said they got the right, the wrong man. But they've already beat the hell out of him. You imagine four police beating you in the night? That's Inspector Gay, what he's been doing to the people of Abaco. So my incarceration was more than to embarrass me. The police want to kill me. And after Hurricane Dorian, all that we have went through in North Abaco, I lost my home. I lost the most precious pearl in Abaco, my mother, Althea Mills. I lost my home. I lost three vehicle. I lost my employment. And I never had insurance. And then I lost my freedom on the streets of North Abaco by the people, four officers that sworn out to protect and to serve Kai Mills and to do it with integrity. They have thrown all of that out of the window. But it could have been worse. Since Hurricane Doreen, we hadn't done the stand. Police officer came to a young man in the stand with three witnesses and they opened fire and assassinated the young man, shot him in his head. Then they went, then this police that shot him went around and find a cutlass and put it in his hand. Nothing has happened to this police so far. We don't even know his name. He may be back in Abaco to shoot me in the head. How can the police police the police? We had kidnapping. If I thought I was bad when I got kidnapped, it could have been worse. I could have been that one shot in the head. The police stated that I tried to knock them down. If I tried to knock any police down, certainly they would have opened fire. And if I tried to knock the police down, I wouldn't have pulled on the side of the street. I would continue on my way. I wouldn't have stopped and spoke with them. And these are the people, the police, the most organized gang in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, the worst of the worst, the ones that have that D average, they send them all into Abaco to incriminate and to interfere and to abuse our constitutional right by wrongful arrest, wrongful detention. All of these things is happening to a people that went through a storm. And the worst thing that happened after the storm, if the police, all the stuff you heard have been getting stolen, the police is in the forefront of all this crime in Abaco. I noticed the chief of police, right after Dorian, there were more stuff taken out of Abaco, out of Maxwell Supermarket, by the chief of police that stole from the people that he's supposed to protect. That is why crime is rumping. It is not because of the citizen tree of Abaco, because we are trying to get back to some normalcy, but the police is extorting monies, finding you on the street, searching you, dispocketing you, your monies. This is all happening to a people that went through a storm. I stopped doing videos and readjust, thought about what I should do, should say, but nobody is going to stop me from doing what I ought to be doing. The first word in free national movement, the government of the day, is free, but they are in the front of trying to take away from my constitutional rights, freedom of speech, freedom of movement, freedom of association. All of this is happening to a people that have went through a storm. So I'm asking the minister, Marvin Daines, the commissioner of police, Paul Roll the man in charge of the criminal gay 
and the rest of them to rethink what y'all are doing because of your leadership. We have reported Gay to y'all and he is still here incriminating, bringing people in the bushes. You imagine the police, four police beating a young man in the bush at night, then lock them up. You imagine four police that sworn out to protect Kai Mills is incriminating me, locking me away. That can't be right. All I am is the messenger because my MP, Darren Henfield, and James Albury have left the building. All Kai doing is trying to educate what ought to be doing in Abaco. But we cannot have policemen like Gay taken away from our constitutional right. This one needs Kai here with you. We hope that the minister, the commissioner, do something before somebody else get killed at the hands of Inspector Gay.